Hi, this is Dustbox Mom. Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Matrix Cube. Yeah, off camera, we gave the Mercurian battle armor with fields to Nala, Jora, and Scotty. And we had, I think it was Bran, pick up most of the explosive grenades, split up the chaff grenades among the party, but, and you know, picked up what we could of the Mercurian rocket rifles and needle guns, but then we dropped a lot of spare chaff grenades and demo charges to keep as many of the characters as their at their full movement allowance as possible. Josita's still at just four, but basically that's going to be the case whenever she's got a rocket launcher on her. So let's exit at this point. Okay, and we'll save and get moving. And basically that's just more dorm rooms and another elevator that way. And hopefully we'll be directed as a storm rider runs by. Soldiers have brought a bomb to the computer core! So that's where we need to go next. And we take this hallway back down to the lab area. Except we're not going directly into the lab area yet. So we're going this way, which was the way that took us from the launching pad down to the labs. And instead, we're going to go this way. Yeah, I, I heard about that. So we're going to go into this area now, and the dome that we're in Okay, has a classroom complex. And a classroom being held hostage. But it looks like the computer core is to our south. So we'll need to go there next. Amalthians rush down the tunnel. They seem in no hurry to fight, however. Do you attack them? Yeah. You attack. Yeah, maybe we can get some useful intel out of them. There is a training area here, but we won't be able to use it until after the invasion. Actually, that's not a bad place. <laughs> Especially if it comes to straight, so it's even farther away. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, definitely don't have the range for any more rocket launcher attacks. 
So, we'll try out those Mercurian needle guns we liberated off your buddies back in the last episode. Okay, explosive grenades might still be useful. Yeah, I lightened her down to just one chaff grenade and she still had a movement rate of only four. Well, she's a teeny little tinker. Huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Needle gun. Not grenade. He's got a grenade though. I've been spending a fair amount of my time this past week finishing up a Afghan for Lawson Blue to take to college with her. And I think it looks gorgeous and I will probably be posting a picture on Facebook. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, sorry about that. Let's whack at them with their sword instead. Yay. Just the one person left. So we definitely don't need any further grenades. Yep. Hearing some faint chittering outside, that's, I believe that's the local birds. Rather a pleasant sound. Probably wouldn't manage on Amalthea though. Okay. And we heal people up. Got some more booty. So we got more chaff grenades. Okay, a couple more Mercurian battle armor with fields. Those are the most important things to pick up. Because it's better quality than what we had before we got here. So I'm going to pause the recording while... We pick up the useful bits from this and we will come right back, so hang on. Okay, so we picked up the explosive grenades we gave him to Jorah, and then Bran and Podkane equipped the Mercurian battle armor with fields that the Amalthian leaders had. So now everybody has Mercurian battle armor with fields. Oh, very nice armor class there. And I didn't even bother with chaff grenades because I knew I had to drop a lot of them after the last battle. So let's exit. No, exit already. One of the soldiers is down and wounded. Do you interrogate him? Yes. You interrogate the Amalthean. After a while, he speaks. I'm part of a demolitions team on mercenary contract at Genetics Foundation. We planted a bomb in the computer core just south of here. Listen, if you get me out of here, I'll give you the disarm code. Do we have a deal? Great, listen, the code is A76T2. So we'd better write that down. And the bomb is located. Oh crap, gunfire sprays around you. The soldier is hit as you duck for cover. When you return, he's dead. Well, I guess we don't have to get him out of there. I'm going to pause the recording for a second while I just quickly jot down the disarm code. So hang on. Yeah, normally through the power of clue books, 
that information would already be jotted down, but I checked and it's not, so it was kind of important to write it down. All right, now we need to continue on into the computer core area right after we save. Oh, we just go down this hallway. At least what passes for a hallway here. You enter the computer core. Okay, the bomb is not in this room, but it's in a room close by. Okay, the bomb is in a little bitty, I guess, utility closet straight ahead. A time bomb is attached to a computer con console. Do you try to disarm it? Yes. You may either enter a disarm code or you may attempt to manually defuse it. So if we hadn't gotten the disarm code from the soldier, we could have probably Nala or Jora try to disarm it manually. But since we've got the disarm code, let's enter that. A76T2. You disarm the bomb! Yay! The team gains experience. And that takes care of the computer core area. So now we can leave this area. Actually, let me go this way. And back out. And I'm sure somebody will rush up to us and tell us where to go next. Hmm. Jovian Dragon's Attack. Oh, okay. I wonder if they're vulnerable to rocket launchers. Yeah, this is a random encounter in this area. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and I'm trying to move people back to be out of range from Our heavy weapons. 
That looks good. Just the two Jovian dragons left. Let's see if they dodge needle guns. They have a ton of hit points considering they have that many left after we've been pummeling them. with all those rocket launcher and explosive grenade attacks. Hmm. I can probably Mover up here because the people who have explosive grenades could still probably reach both of them, both of those remaining dragons. Oh, there we go. At least as long as they make the zero G rolls. Good. No booty. We will want to re-equip everyone's heavy weapons, though. And hopefully we can finish dealing with the invasion quickly so we can make use of the training hall, the student store. Yeah, student stores where they sell firearms. Something you would not see in any university on Earth. Yeah. Okay, very good. So we've got some classrooms and we've got the library to clear. This is the classroom complex here. Now this is the training hall, the training center. Okay. Then here is the entrance to the classroom complex. You enter the classroom complex. Soldiers are shooting into a classroom. What do you do? Let's attack. Now, we can't have students being attacked. That's not good. School shootings are a bad thing. And Podcane forgot to re-equip for grenade launcher. No, she didn't re-equip her grenade launcher. She just doesn't have the range. Oh. 
Okay, hang on. We do, we do still have a few minutes left. Sounds like Dos Boss Dog was clearing her throat back there. I am a little surprised that the Amalthean leaders have not attempted to use their explosive grenades. Okay, we'll try there. And then Lucita switches to her needle gun. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. Now we can use up the ammo on that needle gun. Then we'll have Nala whale away with her sword. And I don't know. She may or may not have the range without a grenade. Yep, just barely. Okay, so we just have the one Amalfian left. Okay. Well, Scotty's definitely got to switch to a different weapon since he's out of ammo there. No, not that. He's going to use his sword too. There we go. Finally. Yep, yeah. and we heal, we get booty. We're not going to pick up any more Mercurian Battle Armor with Fields. I think it's just a matter of 
deciding who gets the explosive grenades and then re-equipping everyone's heavy weapons. So we'll take care of that off camera and in the next episode we will continue clearing the classroom complex at Storm Rider University. We'll see you then.